All right, this is a solution for to-do statement six. So again, we're going to have to set up a loop to look at all the items in our list, int i equals zero. And while i is less than students.size, we want to do a couple things. So we are going to look for any student whose target grade percent is lower and we look over in the student class and we can there's a, we see there's a get grade percent method which I intentionally didn't tell you about hoping that you would go find it um, so we say if target grade percent oops I don't know why this is doing this to me if target grade percent is greater than or equal to uh, students that get I that get grade then we want to do a couple things uh, and I'll show you in kind of a compounded way the first time it's a little bit kind of funny looking at first um, so we're gonna say removed students dot add uh, students that remove I which looks bizarre at first else we want to increment our counter variable but what this does because the remove feature of a method of array lists sends back the object that it will remove because it does that this works so this line of code accomplishes two things it accomplishes removing the student that matches the parameters or that you know falls with under the grade percent and it adds that student to the removed students list so it successfully sends it back now if this looks weird to you there are lots of other ways to do this so we can separate it all out and I can do that right now uh, so instead of this instead of writing all this stuff I'm gonna make a new double called uh, grade so we're gonna set that equal to students dot get uh, oops no I want to first of all set up a student object student s equals students dot get I and then double grade equals s dot get grade percent and then we're going to do if target grade percent is greater than or equal to, or is should be greater than. Yeah, fall with fall under that. I'm sorry, so I should have said greater than before. Also, you can change that. If target grade percent is greater than grade, then uh, we don't need to do it this way, which does look confusing. We can say removed students dot add s. And then students dot remove I. So if this is more comfortable to you at first, just do it this way. I I do tend to prefer the other method, but only once you get more fluent with uh, how that how that feels. All right.